CBS, you have received the memo. Thank you for more Justine and Caleb footage. Thank you. What was everybody's best moment? Hearing those three words from Caleb. <laughs> Say it again. Love you. Ah! I could not wait until tomorrow. I couldn't. I just couldn't. There was just, it was just, guys, it was just so good. All the feels. I can, okay, no, Yelene, shut up. Let's go. I'm trying to compose myself so hard, guys. So at the beginning of the episode, Justine and Sally are rehashing what happened with the recoupling and stuff. Not the recoupling, the dumping. And... They talk about Carrington not being as sure as maybe Bennett was in the situation he was in. I stand by the decision we made because Caleb did make a lot of good points. You know, even with that, it still didn't make it easier. I think it is beautiful that Laurel is bringing out this different side of him, but is that gonna withstand the real world when we're back and thrown right. into reality? Another thought process in my head was, well, maybe these last couple of days will allow Carrington to get on morals level. I actually found it interesting how Caleb was the one to convince Justine to keep Carrington. I actually didn't know that's how she felt. They don't really explore that. Oh, my phone is dying. <laughs> they didn't really explore that, but whatever. Um, it does make sense. I don't think Bennett and uh, Lakin would have would have gone even to top three anyways and i don't think carrington and laurel will either so either way doesn't matter i told y'all calvin was suave i told y'all some would say here we have a sandwich some would say here we have a grilled cheese sandwich but miss moira yeah, what Mr. we calvin. truly have here <laughs> is a moment <laughs> be careful talk <laughs> Go back to three weeks ago when I said it. He, this man is smooth. This man is cute. It, ah, ah, ah. It's cute. I thought this was so adorable. This is the cheesy foolishness I would be saying to my partner. So like, ugh, he's so cute. So adorable. I love it. Justine and Sally, also known as Celine. Lord have mercy. Also known as Celine, apparently went on a cute little date that they had and honestly like this just reminded me how cute their friendship is awesome you were like yeah been good do it go crazy go see but uh, i'm like go do it go <laughs> <Okay. laughs> i couldn't have done this without celine celine hey celine. hey celine. that's my girl that's my girl <laughs> <laughs> that's you girl. cover up your boobs <laughs> just like you said girl ain't nothing there <laughs> it's not like i forgot but it's just the fact that she's like tied to johnny and johnny has such like negative energy out here to the public it's like oh there goes selly again but when it's just selly i'm like yeah that's why i like you i remember so this is a cute little moment between the two of them leading into the final dates that everyone's gonna have and here's the thing cbs i know what y'all was trying to do with like how you ordered them but i'm gonna order them you lane's way okay that's what we about to do the first date um, that I'm going to talk about is, oh no, it was the first date. Carrington and Laurel, they went on a, a driving something in a, in a red something. <laughs> I'm willing to make some sacrifices to make this work because that's ultimately where love lies, I think. And I'm just excited for what's to come, honestly. I really am. It's going to be you know, quite the ride. So. Love is all around. Um, yeah, I don't know. Carrington is good with his words. He knows what to say, how to say it. Even Mackenzie talked about it when she came out the house. She was like, Carrington is so nice and he's so whatever. I'm like, girl, he was the first to throw you under the bus. <laughs> he was the first. But yeah, I don't know if his words have merit. We don't know. Only Carrington knows, and it's up to Carrington to decide whether he wants to stick it out with Laura in the end or take this new popularity and do as he pleases. Moira and Calvin are literally the best of friends that fall in love. The spontaneity that we have and the goofiness and the funniness, it's one of the biggest reasons why I'm attracted to you. You are yourself, no matter who's around, 
no matter what's going on, you're Moira, and that's what I like. Making my way through the crowd. Now, I'm not saying they're in love. I'm just saying if they did fall in love, they have that best friend vibe already that it would be a fruitful relationship. I, I, I see it like they're so dark. I don't even know how they skated past me, y'all. Like the way they portrayed Moira, like I was so quick to just hop off her bus, just be like, oh, Moira, stop. Like you're always crying. You're like complaining now. It's irritating. But just seeing her persona come out in the last couple days, I'm just like, y'all rude y'all production y'all rude this girl is so cute she's so sweet she's so funny and you miss little like parts of her in production but i've been seeing your personality you're super cute i talk to you like you're watching even though you're not but i'm here for it if they end up being a couple it's gonna be a, oh so adorable y'all why do they play the most played out song for the most played out relationship just saying just not justine see i'm like my mind is all on justine uh johnny and selly go on this date it's like an empty theater this big grandiose theater and they have a live show and they at the end of the all of that they talk about life outside the house and when they knew they what they some stuff i was listen it hasn't been easy for us you know but we are so strong and we could literally take on anything in this world because we've mastered the art of just being there for each other and backing one another that i feel more than prepared to take on the real world i hope for Sully's sake that they work out i hope that uh that's it. I just hope for Sally's sake they work out just because she's so invested. Like you just see the commitment in her body. Like she is into this boy, like into him. So for her sake, I hope it all works out. On to the main event. I mean, a helicopter, the Grand Canyon. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, it's good. We are so lucky. I tell you, my heart nearly exploded when this happened. Justine, I love you. I really do. It freaks me out a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. It really scares me. I never thoughts that I could feel that emotion and a romantic sense in such a short amount of time. I do love you and like <laughs> were you ready to like jump I did, oh my gosh. As a dark skinned black woman who watching a show where typically the dark skinned black women are picked last which is what happened to justine where typically we are friend zoned which is what happened to justine where typically they're voted out pretty quickly which did not happen to justine where typically they don't end up finding a true connection which did not happen to justine and they barely make it to the end and barely get told that they're loved which did not happen to justine listen let me tell you an icon a mogul a legend the queen justine she wins even if she doesn't win for some godforsaken reason even if for some reason she don't win they won they already won america freaking loves caleb america freaking loves justine they won it doesn't matter what y'all try to do they won ah even them coming home talking about the day and them just uh, you said it. Uh, America, Caleb's in love with me. Hey, you're telling me all my business. <laughs> it's okay, because I'm in love with him. All right, I'll take it. They are literally the most adoring, adoring, what am I saying? Adorable couple in Love Island 
history, literally history. My personal favorites are Mike and Priscilla and Molly Mae and Tommy, but Molly Mae and Tommy didn't win. Uh, Mike and Priscilla didn't win. Oh my gosh, I'm catching a trend. This epiphany is just happening to me right now. All my favorites did not win. Oh my gosh, no, no. Oh, this is a real time epiphany that I'm having right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just got so sad. It's okay. It's okay. She still won. In my heart, in my heart, in my heart, you win, baby girl. I voted for you twice. I voted for you last night. I voted for you tonight. If you don't win, whatever. The winners, I don't even care. Oh, I just got so sad. I hope y'all did the right thing because the voting is already closed. Oh, I just got pissed, y'all. Y'all better have done the right thing. And I wanted to end this video on a high, and now I'm upset. Oh, I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow, because now I gotta go to bed. It is midnight. Ooh, it is past. Good night. Good night. Good night. So all of the people of all of the lands, including her knight in shining armor, deemed her the queen of the castle, making her the queen and him the king, and they lived happily ever after.